Hello, welcome to egomemo.com. So this website is for vocabulary study. So using flashcards, you get to learn some new words. Now this video is to teach you how to use egomemo.com for the first time. So this is a screen you'll get. So you'll go to egomemo.com. This is what you'll see. You can put the website in Japanese or English. Uh, that being said, <laughs> Uh, there's still some work to do on the Japanese version, so I would recommend using the English version. What you need to do is create an account first, so you don't have a username. Actually, the username is an email address that you can choose for the website, any one of your email addresses. That being said, I would recommend you use your academic email if you're learning at a university or at a school somewhere. And a password. So first, what you want to do is to create an account while with using while using an email so via email you would click here so here you would write the email address that you'll be using so this is just me testing uh, the system now again i would recommend you use your academic email uh, if you're a student at a school it will be easier for your teacher to identify you um, if you use your academic email, so uh, your university's email for yourself. Uh, choose a password. So it can be any password you want. Uh, try to remember your password for egomemo.com. Confirm your password. So please write your password twice. And click Next. So here, you'll get this message. Your account has been uh, created. Please verify your email to activate your account. So you, what you want to do is go to your email, uh, log into the email you used to create your account, and you'll have an email from egomemo.com. Click on the email and activate your account for um, your, uh, your email. Now here, this is what you need to click. Please click this link to activate your account, you want to click on this. Click on it, and boom, you'll be back right here to egomemo.com and try logging in. So I'll try to log in. Egomemo test at gmail.com. That's my email that I'm using. Map my password. Again, if you ever forget your password, you can always click on forgot your password and the system will email it back to you and you'll be able to uh, reset your password. Okay, so log in. The first thing that you'll see is that uh, you cannot study right away. You need first to select a word list. So um, you'll be more wordless in the future. Um, that being said, if you're a university student, one very good word list that I recommend, and probably your teacher's recommending now, is the academic group, so to learn academic words. So if you want to study all five uh, lists, so these are lists of 100 words, or five lists. If you only want to study the first one, you can select only the first one. If you want to study all of them, if one week your teacher wants you to only study the second one, so just listen to your teacher and see what your teacher wants you to do. That being said, um, you can always, uh, the best way to study is probably to study all of them at once, but always listen to your teacher. Okay, so I'll select these lists and study. And uh, then I'll start studying. So this video I won't explain how to study. Um, it's quite go-to. Uh, there are six dif different types of questions. That being said, the first time you'll study, you'll only get the first type of question. But every time you come back, every day you come back to Ego Memo, the questions will change. The questions will be about the same words, but different questions. Some questions will ask you to spell. Some questions will ask you to do other tasks. Okay, um, maybe one last thing that I would like to explain for this video. You can go to My Settings. And here you'll see, uh, essentially, your information right here. So which email you're using, your Ego Memo code. Uh, this is not very important. What you need to learn is your teacher's Ego Memo code. So 
let's say your teacher gives you his code and you want to send your information to your teacher. Well, what you would do is go to share my info in progress. Click here. Um, so whatever code your teacher gives you, you would copy paste here. So your teacher told you my code is so and so. So write your teacher's code right here. Um, let's say, let's make a mistake first. Let's say I wrote in the wrong code. Okay, my school student number is, type in your student number. Again, this is optional. If uh, you don't want to send that, if your teacher does not need that information or the person you're sending this does not need that information, you don't have to write it down. Um, if you want to write your first name so it's easier for your teacher or the other person to, uh, this is my name. If you want your teacher to identify you more easily, maybe it's a good idea to write in your name. Then again, it is optional. You don't have to do that. Perhaps your teacher can identify you only with your email. So these last three are optional. That being said, the teacher code must be given. And then share my info and in progress. Oh, the teacher's teacher code does not exist. So that means you wrote in the wrong teacher code. Okay, let's try this teacher code, which is I hopefully correct. Uh, I'll see if I can send it to myself. Maybe it will cause another error. We'll see. So again, send your information to this person. Share my info and in progress. Click. And done. So essentially, I've just sent my information to myself. Um, that being said, uh, please type in your teacher's code or the user's code that you want to send your information to. Okay, so that's all for this first video. Thank you for listening and enjoy your study. Uh, I think this is a great word to complement your study. Now, egomemo.com should not be your only way to study, but it's a great way to complement the study um, you are doing at the time. So if you're doing extensive reading, uh, if you're reading news articles, well, Egomemo is a great way to complement your study. Thank you for listening.